All right, so we just took a look at Redis. Now let's talk about Azure Cache for Redis. So Azure Cache for Redis is based on the popular open source Redis cache or data store. It gives you access to secure, dedicated Redis cache that Microsoft manages and that you can access from any Azure application. All major cloud service providers have a managed Redis uh, service or, uh, or database because it's just super useful. And we'll talk about the use cases here in a moment. Azure Cache for Redis is suited for high throughput and low latency requirements where the same data is often requested. So remember those key three things to know when you're supposed to use Redis. There, there are uh, serverless databases, um, like NoSQL databases, sorry, that uh, can, can operate extremely quickly, uh, like with a guarantee of a certain amount of time, but uh, Redis is just like super fast. It's faster than everything else out there because it's in memory. Uh, Azure Cache for Redis is commonly used for these uh, scenarios, and I really do want you to pay attention because these are very common, very practical, and as a developer, you really should know these. Um, so uh, a very common use case is storing session data. If you have a web application and it's deployed to uh, multiple virtual machines, um, a, a hard part about having an application running across multiple virtual machines or containers is that um, knowing what was the last like where the where the session is stored, the actual uh, state of a user. And so you can't have it running on one virtual machine because then the other ones won't know about it. So you need to store it somewhere else. So Redis is a very common use case for that. Storing cached HTML or JSON, uh, this is a very common use case to speed up response times. Another thing that we normally see would be mem, uh, uh, memory DB, mem DB. Um, it's another caching solution specifically for HTML. Um, but uh, yeah, this is something you'd put in front of your web application to uh, speed up web pages or API calls. Another one is a job or message queuing system. If you are in the Ruby on Rails world, a uh, very common uh, queuing system is called Sidekick, and it uses um, Redis. Or another thing, again, in Ruby on Rails, if you want to use Action Cable, which is for uh, doing pub sub, like real time, like building a chat, uh, like a chat system or a game, that's backed by Redis. Um, so those solutions aren't going to change. You can usually use Redis for those things. Another one is using it to be in front of a database to reduce read contention. Read contention means like too many reads are hitting the database, so it's slowing everything down. So you can put a cache in front of that to uh, improve response times for fetching data, to, to just take, uh, take the load off the database. Maybe you have a database that's expensive to call, so it's going to save you money. Um, and so you can put this in front of CosmoDB or Azure SQL, very common uh, cases, or any kind of database really um, that returns data. Uh, and so this is actually called the aside cache pattern, something you want to kind of remember uh, where uh, it's going to sit in front of the database. So if the, da if the data is up to date um, um, and it's there in the, the, uh, the Redis store, it'll take it from there. If not, it will go to the database. And the database can be proactive and send data to Redis so that it doesn't have to do a hit or miss. It can just have the data there, it knows that it's there. Um, just to kind of visualize this, just to see where those are. So I'm just gonna get my pen tool out here. So the first is like where uh, um, Redis or Azure Cache for Redis is sitting between your application and the request. So maybe you're hosting on Azure App Services. But the idea is that before um, a request makes it into your application, it's going to check that cache. And so that can reduce the load on your application, improve the load times if, it, if there's things that are computationally expensive. Then there's your database. So over here, between your application to your database, um, it's going to hit the Redis cache first. If there's data, it will return it. If there's not, it will go straight to the database. And then the other common use case here is to have a fast database for real-time data, maybe for queuing, jobs, um, uh, video games, leaderboards, things like that. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Azure Cache for Redis. Just gotta get some hands-on experience with it, but very simple, uh, not too complicated, very useful.